It's Wednesday, baby. It's Wednesday. Halfway through the week. Clyde over there letting us know, baby. That we've made it halfway through the week. It's not a good Wednesday, baby. Because not all of us made it through the week. We were notified a little while ago by the daughter of Daphne Batty, who is one of our Blue Dot family members, who recently had been hospitalized with COVID-19, that she had passed away. There won't be a rant today, baby. She was just on the show a couple of weeks ago, right prior to her going in the hospital. Daphne had been with us a long time. I remember her joking about being embarrassed about the Iowa primaries and how long it took. She's been around for a long time and we're gonna miss her. We're gonna miss her a lot. I got a call from Bernadette who was in tears. TW called me. Travis just said there's a group forming on the Discord channel right now. We're gonna find out where we can send flowers. The flowers will be sent from her Blue Dot family, which all of you were a member of. This is not the first Blue Dot we've lost. We've lost, we've lost too many. Michelle Foster, Dennis Gent, Norman Pincone, members that were truly involved. I corresponded with, I, I got letters from. This shit's hard sometimes because the people we meet in this family have a tendency to to grow on us just like family. We talk to them, we get used to their laugh, their opinion. But it was the fellowship of just being together and talking. And we enjoyed her company tremendously. There won't be a rant today outside of the say, in my belief, the man that sits in our house has got Daphne's blood on his hands, in my opinion. While he screwed around for two months, continues to do so right now. We desperately need testing to find out where this is. We're in a war, he says, but how do you know where the enemy is if you don't test? While he brags about the testing, we're far behind, baby. Far behind. Our experts, our medical doctor, Fauci, is telling us to reopen would have deadly consequences and what happens? Fox Fuse comes out last night. Are you shitting me? They all attack him. The man that has served president after president, all of a sudden we can't trust him because this doofus in our White House would do anything to get reelected. He doesn't care how many people die. He doesn't care who dies. We do. We care and we vote. We're gonna miss Daphne tremendously. But we have to remember that she's one of the reasons you stay in the fight. You keep moving the banner forward, baby. We fight for each other. I don't know what to say. I'm just like the rest of y'all. When hit with bad news, you, there's there's very little that you can that you can say. You're gonna miss a good friend, a member of your family, and it saddens all of us. This family grows because of the heart that it shows, the friendships that are made the conversations that are had. So I encourage you to join this family, to be a part of it, to remember why we're all here 
and that is to remove this dangerous man who has no concern for the citizens of this country or anywhere else. His designs are on money and power, fame. <laughs> no, not long ago, Marianne McLaughlin wrote a letter and she said that Donnie should, you know, he's always worried about his ratings and he should take note that one of the highest ratings on TV as far as a national event was JFK's funeral. It was on every channel. I don't think it would work for him. I wouldn't go. And I wouldn't even turn on the TV. I love this family. I love everybody in this family. The kindness that this family shows to one another is obvious. And it warms my heart. I don't know what else to say, baby. My heart is broke. And we lost a family member. We'll be live tomorrow night. Right now, I guess I'll run up and join a Discord group and, and, and talk to everybody. And uh, see if we make proper arrangements for the flowers and, and whatnot. I love y'all. Y'all take care.